in this lesson, we're going to go through a high-level overview on how to use the eDrill tool. From how to program the right fastener, select the right hand tool, what accessories you need to use, and some general best practices when you're using the tool on real aircraft structure. To begin with, we need to tell the machine what size fastener and what type of fastener this is. You can do that two ways. The first way is through a part number selection. If you know exactly what that part number is, and it's been pre-programmed by one of our service technicians, just simply load that program. It's going to pop up with what electrode size to use, and that's going to prompt you to tell you which, which hand tool you're going to need to use. But let's go through the visual selection, say you don't know exactly what style fastener this is. You know some very basic information about it, though. We'll hit select visual on the screen. This is a high lock. So I'm going to select high lock. It is a raised head. We're going to select that. The material is made of titanium. And I'm simply going to measure the head by passing a gauge over it. So the head is 400 thousandths to 450 thousandths. I'm going to program that in. And it's going to populate all the fields for the e drill to use. Now that that's loaded, it's told me what size electrode I need to use, and based on that, I determine what style e-drill hand tool it is. In this case, it's telling me that this fastener is a quarter inch, which means I can use the center grounded hand tool. If it was one eighth or three thirty seconds, though, I would need to use the externally grounded hand tool. Never put a one eighth or a three thirty seconds electrode onto the center grounded gun. So based on this, I know I need to go out and get an 0208 electrode pack. We have that right here. You'll notice that it's color coded. And since we're using a raised head rivet, we're going to be using the button head locator device. That is also color coded to black. Black is the standard color for quarter inch fasteners. I'm going to open my package up, gently slide the electrode onto the conducting tube. Once it's hand tight, I'm going to take my torquing wrench and tighten it till I get a click. Following that, since we're using the button head locator, I'm going to use the button head adapter. I'm going to slide that over, engage and turn. I'm then going to retract the electrode. Following this, you'll get a green light on the back of the gun and an indicator on the display screen saying ready. With all that, we're ready to make our cut. So now that we have the machine programmed and the gun is loaded, we need to learn the best practices on how to hold and use the e-drill hand tool. To begin with, you don't hold the e-drill like a normal drill. You're going to have a firm pistol grip, first finger straighten off the uh, assembly, and you're going to pull the trigger with your middle finger. I'm going to take a button head locator and engage it over the fastener. I'm checking to see if it has a nice fit, tight clearance, and I'm going to gently insert the hand tool. You'll notice there is a little bit of spring in this, and I'm going to depress through the spring. Following that, I'm going to actuate the cut. Very important that while you're making a cut, you're holding the gun extremely still. It should only be about 10 or 12 seconds, and what that's doing is allowing the onboard actuator to detect how deep the electrode is bored into the fastener. Once it's completed, you'll get an indicator light on the back that will correspond to a display message on the screen saying either the cut was good or the cut was out of parameters. In this case, cut was complete within all parameters, so we're good to go. We should be ready to knock this out. So all I'm going to do is take my punch buddy, fit the tip of the punch into the groove that I just created, and apply force. One hit, the fastener is severed. We check to make sure that the fastener doesn't look like it's gone too deep or too shallow. It didn't require a whole lot of force, so I'd say this is ready to go. So just to recap, we have the right program. I have the right gun. I have the right electrode loaded into it. I have the right adapter. I'm going to install the adapter over the fastener, gently insert the e-drill with steady force, Pull the trigger, keep that force the same throughout the cut, allow the program to run and wait for the indicator light, 
indicator light comes on. I check the screen. It's saying cut complete and everything is good. I'm going to use the correct punch. It sits into the groove that we just created. And apply force. And that was a high level overview on how to use the e-drill hand tool.